The throws offline, safe at third. Just a very nice approach and swing right there to use the big part of the field. Everything was on time. He stayed balanced through the entire swing and just launched that one into center. Foul back our way, and that's out of play. Fraley at third. Stevenson on at first with two down. Next pitch misses. And one and one. One strike. They say it went. Struck him out swinging. Couldn't catch up to the heater. Now a move being made for a pinch hitter, Luis Matos. And the first pitch misses for ball one. Swing and a miss, strike one. Well, this guy on the mound's done a lot better than we would have expected, and the hitters just don't seem to have the right game plan. They're taking too many mistake pitches for called strikes. Next offering misses, and it's two and one. That one fouled off. In the dirt. Stevenson whips it to first. And one away in the bottom of the seventh. Well, that's such a critical pitch in terms of execution right there. The pitcher has to finish it. Otherwise, probably gets hit pretty hard. If you leave that out over the plate or you don't get it down enough, quickly turns into something that gets smoked. But if you can place it where he did, it's a really deceptive pitch. First offering misses the mark. That one down the line, and that's just foul. Kicks and deals. There's a strike. And the one two misses to even the count. In the air, fairly deep to right field. Benson pulls it down, and there's two gone. Gabe Kapler calling for a bat off the bench. Lamont Wade Jr. looking for a two-out spark with the bases empty. Swings through that one. 0-1. And he flips a breaking ball in there, or a changeup. Either one, <laughs> something off speed. Good arm action on it, whatever it was. The 2 Got him looking. That's a strikeout. Giants. So remaining in the game defensively, Lamont Wade Jr. He pitch hit last half and now takes over at first. So the Giants with a new pitcher on the hill, Johnny Brebia. Now into the ball game on defense, Mike Yastrzemski. He'll be patrolling center field. Here comes a pitch. De La Cruz, the leadoff batter, as he looks at ball one. And there's the strike. One ball, one strike. Ground ball to the right side. Tosses to first. Leadoff man is out here in the eighth. Next for Cincinnati, Noel V. Marte. 
Swing and a miss. That's strike one. Signs of movement in the Giants' bullpen. Tristan Beck up and throwing. Strike two. Well, you got the hitter already chasing that nasty slider. If you're on the mound, you just want to expand the zone right now. Get a swing and miss and get through this at bat. Got him swinging. Slider got him for strike three. No need to deviate from the slider right there. The hitter just not making the adjustment. He came at him with the breaking ball pitch after pitch in that at bat, and evidently there was no answer for it. Sharp grounder. That's through for a base hit. Man, those are the types of hits where you don't feel any vibration in your hands whatsoever. Such a good feeling. Fastball pretty much middle-middle, and that's what you fall asleep dreaming about as a hitter. So no surprise he put a great swing on it. India at the plate with two away. Swings through that one. And he's down 0-2 as he swings through it. A lot of times you'll see a pitcher maybe double up on a pitch. This guy will throw it three times, four times in a row because hitters just can't lay off of it. Foul ball. It stays nothing in two. Benson off the first with two away. Out towards right center field. And that'll fall for a base hit. Throw into third. Not in time. He's safe. Back against the wall with two strikes, but found a way. That was maybe even a little off the plate, but no problem getting the barrel to it. Man, he does such a nice job, and that's what you're supposed to do with the pitch in that location. Friedel stands in now and watches strike one. On the ground, right side. In plenty of time to first. That's out number three. So now a pinch hitter, Wade Meckler. And he deals. Down the left field line, could be extra bases. And that's going to get into the corner. Into second easily with a leadoff double. Now no waiting around right there. He was ready to swing it on the first pitch. That pretty much split the zone down the middle, and those are the ones where you got to make them pay. In the dirt. Now the tag at third, and they got him. Well, you want to see guys aggressive out there on the base paths, but you also want to see them smart as well in making their decisions. And right there, you couldn't really tell how far away that ball was. So if that's the case, you got to shut it down. He gets caught stealing there, takes himself out of scoring position. Left-hand batter waits. And that one is lifted in the air. Steer under it. Pulls it in for the out. So now pinch hitter for the Giants. Marco Luciano trying to get something going for him with two away. He swings and misses at the first pitch. 0-1. Blind drive. That's a base hit out of the left center field. And that keeps the inning going. He was all over that one. Got a fastball, middle of the plate, jumped all over it. Absolutely smoked that ball. De La Cruz. That's the inning. So no run. Staying in the game on defense, Wade Meckler. He'll be the new left fielder after entering the game as a pinch hitter. Now here's Tyler Rogers out of the pen. The pitch. Swing and a tapper that rolls foul. Rogers, 32 years old, and he was a 10th round pick back in 2013. Swing and a miss. And that is strike two. Action in the San Francisco bullpen. Tristan Beck getting loose out there. Hacks and misses. It's a strikeout. Just overmatched on that fastball right there, and it wasn't like he was set up for it by something off speed earlier in the at-bat. Just came right after him with three straight, and he had no answer for it. Swung on, belted. That one back. And it's out of here. Jake Fraley launches one, and they boost their lead. It's five zip. Singy, the ball is jumping off his bat. Yes, it is. Tons of loud contact. Man, it's been impressive. 
when you're lacking velocity, it's so critical that you move the ball around, change speeds, even try to trick the hitter at times. But when you give up a home run right there, manager doesn't have a lot of patience because the velocity is not there to overcome and get the swing and miss. Here's the catcher, Tyler Stevenson. He was the big part of the field last time. Nice liner to center. That one off the bad part of the bat. Just a lazy fly ball. Crawford puts it away for the out. Two down. Now that's a tough play for the infielder ranging back into the outfield. There's part of him that's saying, hey, where are you at, outfielder? Call me off. But he stayed focused and made a nice catch right there. Votto now at the plate as he swings through strike one. And the righty deals. Popped up first base side. Sable has this one sized up. He makes the grab. And the inning is over. One scores in the inning coming on this solo home run. And the lead is now 5 0. Back here at the ballpark, all set for the bottom of the ninth. And digging in for San Francisco, J.D. Davis. First pitch, not close. There's a strike. In this situation, you expect the batters to be a little more patient, possibly take until they get a strike. With that, you don't want to miss your opportunity to get ahead early in the count. He didn't right there. And it gets by him. And that'll bring up Brandon Crawford. Line drive, caught. Throw not in time as he's able to get back to avoid the double play. Well, baseball can be cruel, can it? I mean, sometimes it gives and sometimes it takes away. He did everything right on that swing, but he's got nothing to show for it. Davis leads off first with one away. Close no, one, doesn't ball. get the call. And the count is one and one. Swings through that one, one for strike two. Line drive and foul ball. And a one two. And that's a strikeout looking. Frozen with the heater at the knees. So they're down to their final out. Mike Yastrzemski up here. Foul ball there. Yastrzemski checks his swing. Appeal down to third. And yes, he offered at it. And a pitch. Check swing, hit on the ground. Votto steps on the bag himself. Ball game. It has become increasingly difficult to throw a complete game shutout because of all of the offensive prowess that these hitters are showing around the league today. But he had total command of this game, and he saw it all the way through to the end. Nice win. 5 nothing the final in this one. For Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show, I'm John Chomby saying so long.